At Miyagami Private Academy, there is a group of girls who have more power and authority than any of the faculty members. Miyagami Academy Maximum Authority Wielding Best Student Council, otherwise known as... Best Student Council! think of her, but there's really more to her than just budget worries. Budgets! Every girl's got a secret. Even the girls in the best student council. I'm ready. Where's Myra going? What? You gotta be kidding me! You mean that super square treasurer girl who doesn't care about anything but balancing the stupid budget just snuck out all gussied up? <laughs> she turned in a request to take today off, but I don't understand why she would feel the need to sneak off grounds like that. She probably just went to do some shopping. But why would she get all dressed up if she's only going shopping? I think she's got a date. Yep, for sure. A date? A rendezvous? A romantic encounter? So she went on a date. Hey, Poochan, what kind of guy do you think Myra got all dressed up to go out on a date with? He's probably a total loser if he's messing with that straight-laced, stressed-out chick. I bet he's just taking advantage of her. He's gotta be a total loser! That's not very nice, Poochan. She may think he's her boyfriend, but I bet he's using her for money. Soon she'll be broke and start draining money from the best student council's budget, then she'll spiral into a pit of despair! Oh that would be a serious problem. President Kanade! I hope that's not true. She's the best student council's treasurer. I would hope that if she chooses to date someone, she would only date an honest man. I thought you would say something like that, so I took the liberty of running a quick background check on him. So, Sayana, would you please tell us what you found out? No problem! It seems that this month alone, Mayura requested three days off and she has taken all three of them. And as we suspected, she met with a gentleman on each occasion. So, who is he? We know that he's a 12th grader from an industrial high school in the next city over. His name is Shimon Kurasu. <laughs> Shimon Kurasu. That sounds like some kind of vampire name. Is he a foreigner? No, Mr. Kurasu is native Japanese. Were you able to find out if this Mr. Shimon Kurasu is a trustworthy gentleman? Uh, well, that's kind of hard to say. What do you mean by that? Unfortunately, he doesn't have the best reputation. I don't have any hard evidence, but I've heard that he's been dating several girls at the same time. What'd I tell you, broads? The treasure is being duped by that dirtbag! Bingo, correct! There's no doubt about it! So let me get this straight. You think she's being used by him? And someday soon she'll be dumped. If that happens, Myra could easily become heartbroken and desperate. She'll become a hermit. She'll be a hermit?! We gotta do 
do something to help her! Please calm down, Rando. Everyone's just hypothesizing because we don't know the truth yet. All of this nosing around in people's private lives makes me uncomfortable. And just who did that background check again? I'm sorry, did you say something? You must be hearing things! Personally, I have absolutely no problem with Myra dating, as long as he makes her happy. Yeah, you're right, Miss President. Maybe we're being too pessimistic about this. Yeah, maybe. Listen, Reno. We should have faith in Myra's decision. Miss President, that's true. I'm sure that things are really awesome between Myra and her new boyfriend. <laughs> Yeah, this is Nanaho. Vice President, we have a major problem! What's the matter, Kaiori? Well, I'm calling you from town, and I just saw someone who totally looks like Myra. All dressed up and walking with a strange guy. On top of that, they're walking towards the red light district, and... That's unacceptable behavior for best student council members! Calm down, Kaiori. This matter is being handled by the Covert Squad. There's no reason to worry. If anything happens, I'll call you immediately. Yes, that's correct. Thank you. Excuse me, did something bad happen to Myra? I don't think so, but we should not take this situation lightly. Ko, I've ordered them to continue their covert operation. Nanaho, I... Okay, everyone. Until the covert squad has confirmation, this matter is not to be discussed. Understood. Understood. Okay. Hey, did you get all that, Cindy? Roger. Myra looked absolutely gorgeous, don't you think? She doesn't have to get all made up like that. She's got natural beauty. She's subtly sexy. Girls with boyfriends totally stand out. They're all glowing and stuff. It must be their raging hormones. Everything's okay, isn't it, Myra? You'd tell us if you weren't happy with them, right? Wow, it all looks delicious. Thank you so much for this yummy food. It tastes amazing! I think you're the greatest cook in the whole world, Machi. <laughs> What's up? Is there something wrong? <laughs> How come nobody's coming in? They were all acting a little weird during dinner, too. What have I gotten myself into? Excuse me, Myra? Uh -huh. Do you mind if I get in the bath too? You don't have to ask for my permission, Reno. Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, Myra? Can I ask you something? Sure, what is it? Uh... Are you happy right now? Uh, -huh. uh, you know, it's just a general question. I was just wondering. I don't know. I guess I can't really tell lately. Yeah, I can understand that. I'm somewhere in the middle, but I don't want to be unhappy, you know? I would love for everyone to be happy all the time, including myself. I agree, Myra. I totally agree with you. Day? What is it? I was thinking, I would like everyone to be happy. I would like that too, Reno. <laughs> <laughs> is it true that you've switched chicks again, Shimon? I didn't switch, I just added a few chicks to the game. Aw, oh, come on, dude, that's even worse. Check this out. Not only is she from Miyagami Academy, but she's also an executive member of the best student council. Whoa. Are you serious? This time I've hit the jackpot. As long as I'm hooked up with a best student council chick, I can go to Miyagami Academy whenever I want. Let me tell you, there are a million cute chicks at that school. I can just reel them in. <laughs> <laughs> it must be nice to be such a pretty boy. I can't help it, dude. It's a gift from God. <laughs> Damn, you totally just blinded me. <laughs> Now we know. What do you really think about this Mayora scandal? 
You can be honest. I want to know what you think. I don't think that anything positive is going to come out of it. I hate to admit it, but I have to agree with you. <laughs> Getting hurt is inevitable in relationships. But I think heartache can also make a person stronger. While it's difficult and painful, it can lay the groundwork for emotional growth. But I just can't stand seeing the President worry about Mayora. I feel like I need to protect them both. You think that's just my ego talking? It's not your ego to wish for someone else's happiness. And remember, we're here to make wishes come true. You know that's why the best student council exists. You certainly have a way of getting right to the point. Sometimes I lose sight of our purpose here. So our mighty warrior has a soft side. Don't even go there, Cone. <laughs> Miss Vice President? Huh? The Covert Squad has contacted us. What did they say? I'm afraid. It's kind of heartbreaking. I see. Listen up, Sena. Assemble our members, but don't let President Kanade or Mayora find out. The best student council is moving out! The reason I have assembled you all here is unfortunate at best. We've discovered that the man Mayora has been dating has some serious personality issues. We've got to stop the Shimon Kurosu. Ugh. He looks like a womanizing jerk! I didn't know Mayura had such terrible taste in men! My question is, why is this picture glowing? For the sake of Mayura, who's not only a Best Student Council member, but is also our friend, I suggest that we put an end to their relationship. I know it'll be difficult, but I'd like to handle this situation without hurting Mayura's feelings. Our first step is to have the Covert Squad confirm the location of Shimon Kurisu. Then the Assault Squad will attempt to persuade him. Persuade him? That's right. We'll persuade him to break off his relationship with Mayora by telling her that he has to move far away because one of his parents got a new job. What if he refuses? Then we'll persuade him by seducing him with our sexual charm. What if he still refuses? Then we'll have to use force. Here's the plan. We'll persuade Shimon using a multi-level approach without the President or Mayora's knowledge. Sorry to ask this, but we need your help. Best student council, move out! That is all, Miss President. I'm sorry I had to ask you to do this, but it's greatly appreciated. Miss President? There's something I'd like to discuss with you, if I may. Where can we find Shimon? We've just pinpointed his location. It seems that he's alone at the train station. Perfect. Now it's time to put our plan into action, ladies. You're up first, Kayori. But why me, Vice President? Excuse me. Hey there. <laughs> That's a Miyagami Academy uniform, isn't it? Is there something that I can help you with? Well... Actually, I, uh, uh... Is something wrong? Well, my friend, the treasure, she's, uh... Speak up, sweetheart. I can't hear you very well. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Kaiori? I'm really sorry, but I can't stand it, Vice President. He totally creeps me out. Nanaho, why don't you let me give it a try? You think you can handle it? This kind of stuff is no problem for the Covert Squad. <laughs> I was wondering if you might consider breaking off your relationship with Miss Ichikawa. No way. That's cool, I understand. I guess that didn't work. Couldn't you have been a little more persistent, Sena? It appears it's going to be impossible to get him to break up with her. It's not over yet! We can do this! <laughs> Better not give me your cold, lady. I can't believe that creep! How can he resist a girl with glasses? I think you may have picked the wrong person for the job. Hmm? Say something, Cindy! Like I said before, the wrong person. 
Hey, dude, you want to go out with me? Date me? Maybe make out with me? <laughs> Your mom's going to be worried about you if you don't hurry home, little one. Here, buy yourself some candy. I'm 15 years old, you idiot, dummy moron! I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry, Vice President. I'm so sad. I've lost what little confidence I had as a woman. Ditto. Me too. We've got no choice. I'll go. That may not be the best idea of this Vice President. And just what do you mean by that? Wait a minute, Nanaho. Look at Rando. What now? Please tell me if you really like Myra. Huh? I'm asking you if you really like Myra. I don't know anyone named Myra. Oh, wait, you must be talking about Ichikawa. Her first name's Myra. You became her boyfriend because you like her, right? That's true, right? Yeah, of course that's the truth. No, that's a lie. I can tell that you're lying. All I gotta do is look in your bulgy eyes. Uh, what's the deal with that puppet? That's not important right now, mister. Please just answer my question. Do you really like my friend Myra, or are you just pretending to like her? Are you dating her because you care about her or because of something else? The other day, Myra told me that... that she doesn't want to be unhappy. When she snuck out to see you, she looked so pretty and so cheerful. Then that night at dinner, she still had that same happy smile on her face. I care a lot about her, and I just want to make sure that she stays as happy as she is now. Just so you know... If you don't really care about her... But you're dating her anyway? I won't forgive you. I'll never forgive you for that. And I won't forgive you either. I won't ever forgive you for hurting our friend. I won't forgive you either. Neither will I. Add me to the list. Brought me down too. I'll never be able to forgive you. Uh, you're the chicks from earlier. Who are you freaks? Uh, the Yagami Academy Maximum Authority Welding Best Student Council, otherwise known as... The Best Student Council! <laughs> I see. So it was all for your friend. Exactly. I decided to do some research on him because he's got a terrible reputation. When I did, I found out that he's been dating multiple girls for a while. When I told my friend what I found out, she didn't believe me. So I decided to ask this guy to stop seeing her. He told me all this horrible stuff about how he won't talk to boring or ugly looking girls. He said I just needed a guy and then he asked me out on a date with him. Can you believe he even tried to come on to me? So that's what's been going on all this time. But I still don't understand why you didn't say anything to us about this, Myra. You know that everyone in the Best Student Council considers you a friend. I know, but it was a personal matter. You should know better than that. I'm sorry. Miss President, do you think I'm a terrible person for being so nosy? It's none of my business. I really should have left them alone. I'm not one to pass judgment, but this is a tricky situation. Poking your nose into someone else's relationship could be considered unnecessary and pretty rude. <sighs> but you know... I have always enjoyed being a little nosy. Uh, huh? Sometimes it's necessary to do unnecessary things. Miss President... Your friend may not be very understanding right now, but I'm sure she'll come around, Myra. You're right. Thank you. Uh, Shimon, what are you... Yeah, listen, Ichikawa. I know this is sudden, but I just found out I have to move really far away because my dad got a new job. I really, really like you a lot, so this is kind of painful, but... Uh, but I won't be able to date you anymore because I have to move far, far away. My feelings for you are like a hidden treasure. Um, uh, I know that they will remain sparkly and untainted forever. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. Oh, hater. Uh, what was that about? Your friends are being nosy. Uh-huh. Over there. What? Yeah. Hey! Uh. Everyone's here? 
they're nosing around in your relationships. <laughs> so what do you think of them? <laughs> I think that they're awesome. <laughs> Bye, Shimon! It's kind of sad because I really liked you too! Thanks for everything and good luck! Bye, Shimon! I'll miss you! Looks like this operation was a success. It certainly would appear so. Well, Cindy, the letter you wrote was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, thank you. Hey, you guys, what'll we do to keep her happy? Huh? <sighs> hey, Mayora, how's life treating you lately? Uh, everything's going really well right now. It's good to hear that. I'm glad. That's good news. Hey, Mayura, I'll massage your shoulders for you. Hold on, you don't have to do that, Rain. Would you like some tea and cake? Um, yeah, thank you. I've been going over the best student council's budgets, and both the covert squad and the assault squad will have leftover funds this month. Oh, wow, that's so awesome. I hope we can keep that up for the next month, too. I promise I'll do my best to make it happen. <gasps> Listen, Myra, I... I just... well, I wanted... I wanted... Don't worry, Reno. I've never felt better. <laughs> Good! You're a fine woman treasurer, Chicky. <laughs> Thank you? Uh, you're hurting me, Sayuri! Sorry, I didn't mean to. You're an idiot, a moron, and a total ding-dong! Who are you calling a ding-dong? <laughs> <laughs> And how did things end up on your end? After some convincing, he completely understood the situation. He's agreed to stop seeing Myra's friend. Good work. Thank you for everything. Hey, did something happen, Miss Cunaday? Nothing's happening here. It appeared that way, but... It was really nothing at all. I still can't believe that our Myra is so hopelessly nosy. But if being nosy means caring about your friends, then I... I love being nosy! exams are around the corner and I'm not doing so hot. If I fail, it'll all be over. Next time on Best Student Council. Goodbye, Best Student Council. I don't like that title because it sounds like it could be the last episode. <laughs>